guys, welcome back to another awesome video. So in today's video, I know I'm not doing like a voiceover right now just because I usually talk, talk a lot in my videos. So I'm sorry, cause I, I just was looking at a lot of my videos and I realized that I talk in them a lot. Um, so I didn't know if, if I, like in my voiceover, I was already doing something else and then I'd still be talking about this, like something different. So um, yeah, but I will be doing a voiceover when I'm playing with this slime. Um, so, yeah, today I will be showing you how to make the best Halloween slime, and I'm really excited to do this video, um, because I've been really looking forward to it. I haven't made slime in a really long time, and so, yeah, I cannot wait to make more slime. I'm so excited, and I'll take this scrunchie off so it's not too distracting <laughs> during the video. Um, but yeah, let's just get right into it. So, what you'll need is a black purple, orange, and yellow paint. And then I didn't have a matching color for the, or a matching glitter for the black or the orange. And so I uh, decided to do a yellow glitter for the orange and this uh, sort of dark blue for the black. So yeah, you will also need some kind of glitter or thing to add into your slime. And I just bought this at Walmart for like $1.49, I'm pretty sure. And it is this Sprangle mix. It comes with, um, and it actually has all the colors that we need in it, so it's really perfect. It's just a bunch of Halloween things in there. You will also need glue. You will also be needing some kind of activator. I'm using borax, but that can be sensitive to some people's hands, and so, um, if that if borax is sensitive to your hand you could use tide contact solution and baking soda or um you can use i think i'm not sure if there's another activator or not well not that i can think of but if you're sensitive to borax you can use a different activator and then just any kind of container and if you don't have a container you can put your slime into a ziploc bag and then of course your bowl and spoon okay so let's make this halloween slime First, add your glue to your slime. I might have added a little too much glue for this container right here, um, but that's okay. After you have your glue, um, we'll be using the paint and glitter and stuff at the end. Um, and so, I'm just gonna go ahead and activate this. So you'll just have to grab your activator and put some into this. All right guys, so I'll just see you when this is um, activated because it usually takes a long time to activate slime, or at least for me because I don't have much activator left. So yeah, I'll see you when this is activated. Okay guys, so I just finished activating this slime. It took me so, so long because I couldn't get it to activate. And then I added way too much activator to it. Luckily, um, that didn't affect the slime because I quickly moved it out of the way, but um, this is the slime. It is still a little bit sticky, but um, my activator wasn't coming out that well. Um, it was like stuck, and so that's why I had to um, had to like open up the cap and get it from there. Um, and so it, it kind of spilled everywhere. Okay guys, so now that we have this nice slime. It is time to add everything in. First, separate your slime into 
four different parts. And guys, sorry, it definitely looks really, really sticky. Um, and it is kind of sticky. I just really don't want to risk adding any more borax because that could ruin my slime. Okay, so now that we have it divided into four different parts, we are going to be taking the first part. And with this part, we will be dyeing it one of the four colors. So I'm just going to be doing this one orange. All right, so now we have our slime, a perfect orange, and it's such a pretty orange, and definitely reminds me of a Halloween color. So when you're happy with the color of the slime, you can put it to the side and work with another one of your four parts. After you've colored one, which we are done with the orange, uh, you can grab another one of your colors. I will be dyeing this one purple. I think I might want my purple a little bit darker just because Halloween isn't, the Halloween purple color isn't so light. So I'm just going to try to make it the color of this bottle of paint right here. Sorry guys, I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, the camera just kind of went off. Um, but I think I'm happy with the color now, and so let's move on to our next color. Next, I'll be dyeing this one a black. Okay guys, I'm finally happy with this black color, but look at my hands. Oh my gosh, they're covered with paint. This is sort of a super dark gray color, but I already added tons of paint to it. So I just decided to keep it at this for the color. And I'm so silly, we do not have to color this white one because it is already white. So let's put this one back. The next step is get your container pop the lid off and um, put your slimes in this container. Just kinda, um, I'll demonstrate. <laughs> I made kind of a big batch of slime. So I'm just gonna be putting this one right here. And then this one right here. This one right here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, no, this is such a fail. Guys, this is so, so bad. I was uh, hoping this would look a lot better, um, but it does not. I'm trying to like fix that. There we go, whatever. So this is what it looked like. Um, and now we're gonna take the glitters and just uh, put them on top of its matching color. This is literally the worst slime in the world, guys. I don't even know why. I just, I literally picture this to look so much better. Next, we're just gonna open this up right here and sprinkle this on top of it. All 
All right, guys, and this is the finished product. So there's all them on top there, and then, um, oh my gosh, I'm trying to be, that is kind of what it looks like. So yeah, but to be honest, guys, I'm kind of happy I didn't put too much black because the black would overpower the slime a lot. So I'm guessing it, the slime will turn probably purple. So let's mix this up. All right, guys, gotta put some sprinkles on the top before we mix everything in. So this kind of looks like a cupcake a little bit. I mean, you can't see it, but I mean a little bit. It kind of does, like a little cupcake. <laughs> so let's mix this up. Slime swirl fail. All right, guys, so this Halloween slime turned out looking like a purplish grayish color. It is, this is not personally my favorite color but whatever because it still looks pretty good and it's a little bit sticky, but I don't know if I wanna add, it, add any activator to it because I really don't wanna make a big mess like I did last time. And to be honest with you, the little, um, these things right here kinda hurt your hands a little bit when you poke it. So I don't know if I'm gonna title this how to make Halloween slime or if I'm gonna title this Halloween fail slime. I'm not quite sure yet. But all I can tell you is that this was not how I expected it to be. I probably could have leave the black out, but you know, I'm not really sure. This just totally failed. so i really hope that you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up oh, sorry thumbs up this is a super bad thumbs up but it's hard to do this because i'm like not how i normally am so give this a big thumbs up give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not subscribed already and um, yeah, I don't have a shout out this week, but if you do want to get a shout out in my next video, all I have to do is subscribe to my channel, like this video, oops, sorry, oh my gosh, whatever, like this video, I can't even do the like button, and either comment down below if you like the slime or not, or, um, another Halloween video suggestion that I should do, so yeah, I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and see you all later, bye!